right, everybody. Scrum with Grandpa and I'm out my shed. Somebody gave me some of these LED panels. Just got about five, six of them here. I'm out in my shed and it is warm. Got my blow heater going. Not a care in the world. Feeling blessed. Left-handed Paul and I finished our roof job today. Looking good, Paul. Yeah. Looking. Good. Looking. There it is. So beautiful. So beautiful. I figure, you know what? I'm gonna come out my shop. At least take a couple things off. Looks like I might have the rest of the week off. So, my wife has been wanting to get our decks cleaned and painted or stained. So I told her I'd do that for her for Christmas. I should say, I told her that would be our Christmas gift to each other because I'm going to hire somebody else to do it. But, had a little bit of time, I figured I'd get out here and knock down a couple of things. Got plenty of heat out here. I think it's only about 40 five degrees outside feels like about 70 in here I got my blower right over there blowing and it's blowing right on my underneath my table like I say you end up with some trash not too bad though End up with some trash. But if you're doing scrap metal, you're gonna have trash. Piece of plexiglass, I guess you could use for something. If you had a use for it. Another piece. I don't know what I would use it for. That's why I'm going to throw it in the trash. This thing's coming apart rather easy, and then I have excursion here. Excursion. I mean, I'm not going to make big money with them, but... That's gonna be dirty because it has a light strip on it. So one strip will have the light strip, the other one won't. One will be dirty and the other one will be clean, no matter what, but it's still excursion. According to what the yard's paying at the time, but I get between 60 and 90 cents a pound for that. If it's clean, and I do have a whole barrel right there of excursion. Pretty good sized barrel. 
well, like I said, I'm not, I'm not doing anything spectacular, but figured you guys might want to hang out. And if you are and you're a new subscriber, I am scrap with Grandpa, and I love scrap metal. I do. I love tearing things apart, I guess, more than anything. Give me something to tear apart and I'm all in. I worked all day with left-handed Paul. I sold about, uh, actually I sold four burn barrels today. And I have my burn barrels on Marketplace. This morning I listed them for $10 each until uh, after Christmas. $10 each till after Christmas. So there's four of them sold today. In order for me to get number one, um, for this, it's gonna have to have that plastic off of it. So I don't know if I'll be pulling the plastic off or not. But if it has plastic like that on it, they'll probably count it as dirty. Because of the plastic, Doesn't matter to me, it's free money. All I see is free money. And a little bit of trash. I say, don't tempt me with some free money. I come out there and get it all. Not sure what that could be used for, but seems like something. Be used for something. Everything can be used for something. I feel blessed. I feel blessed to have to have this me scrap metal shop. I tell you guys, I really do. I feel so blessed. I have been blessed in so many ways throughout my life. So many ways. Got a little bit of dirty and clean exclusion there. Figured I had a few of these things. If you didn't mind hanging out with me, we'd get them taken apart. Like I say, can't beat the weather. It's about 70 in here and it's about 40, maybe 45 outside. Grandpa is blessed to be able to work inside, that's for sure. Selling burn barrels, making money on a roof, making money with scrap metal. You're gonna have to be willing to work more than eight hours a day if scrapping's not all you do. And I do other stuff. So I generally do get more than eight hours a day. This is a side gig, so I'm semi-retired from my roofing business. Semi-retired, I don't work a lot anymore. 
if a job comes up that I want, I'll obviously take it. But if it's a job that I don't want, I will uh, subcontract it out to uh, another friend of mine. Make a little bit of money subcontracting. I'm only willing to do small jobs now. Can't do the big jobs I used to do. Oh, guess what, everybody? I ordered 300 stickers. You know what to do. If you haven't gotten one of my stickers and you sent me my, your address, do me a favor. Send me your address again. And you know how to do that. Right there. Name and address, I will send you some stickers just like that or like that so if you did already send me your address and you don't have them yet I've sent all the stickers out that I had and I still had addresses but it's a good possibility I might have lost that piece of paperwork that I left on my wife's counter somehow or another so far has disappeared she told me not to leave my stuff on the counter I guess I should have listened but if you don't have yours send, please text me again your address I'm glad to send out some stickers it is a little bit hard for me to send them to Canada it costs me like two dollars and 50 cents just to send them to Canada and the paperwork is insane I wish it wasn't so stupid shipping to Canada but they want this all this paperwork filled out oh my god craziness what they want to send an envelope to Canada so anyway, I do my best. I've sent a few to Canada. Maybe I just need to find one person, send them all to, let him distribute them. Well, I did think about that one time, a uh, big country. I said, hey, you're in Canada. What about if I send you some of my stickers and when somebody wants them, you can send them your stickers and my stickers. He said, it's just as expensive for him to send anything to Canada, which I don't get. I just figured he could send out an envelope from Canada to Canada, and it wouldn't cost that much, but he said it does, so I don't know. But I did ask Big Country. He's in Canada. Anyway, you know what to do if you want some got a bunch I do have a bunch of them and I've also sent a bunch of them and they are nice stickers They're real nice stickers definitely durable stickers made of nice plastic if you have a YouTube channel and you pay more than 50 cents for a sticker, you're probably paying too much. I've heard of people paying a dollar for a sticker. I pay 50 cents. Anyways, Merry Christmas to everybody. I hope everybody gets what they wish for. I hope everybody gets what they wish for. And thanks for hanging out with me. Appreciate your time.
I have been pretty busy this week on my other channel, but I'm finished on the other channel. Until next Monday, we go back to work for that guy. We're gonna do some mobile home flooring for him. So we're gonna tear his floors out and they are in bad, bad shape. Some of the worst I've seen actually, some of the worst I've seen for in a mobile home. But Paul and I are gonna go tear it out next week. Put it back on video. That one didn't work out too good. Chris Lassage, what's going on my friend? He always leaves comments on my channel. Always, Chris Lassage, and he is a scrapper. He is also a scrapper. I'm gonna have a good, pretty good pile of mixed aluminum. There's so many different kinds of aluminum, it's not even funny. Cast, old sheet. Extrusion, goes on and on really. Aluminum, aluminum, aluminum. Two more. My wife said we're having lasagna tonight. I'm sure that's pretty close to being ready. It's already dark outside, so. Worked a full day, my dogs are fed. I made a video from my other channel. I think I made a video for Scrap My Grandpa for tonight, not sure. Put it out. Yeah, I did. It was my shop. So this video should be after my shop video, me just walking around showing you what I got in my shop. How blessed I am to have it. I mean, just imagine, a lot of people are scrapping outside I see it everywhere online, watching people scrap metal outside. Oh, now that's gotta be cold. You guys are freezing your butts off. Scrap with grandpa. Feels super blessed to be inside, tell you that. My aluminum is really stacking up, guys. Stacking up. I hope everybody had a blessed year, actually. It's almost the end. And I hope you made plenty of money. And a lot of your wishes came true for for this year. A new year is so close. Can you believe it's been 24 years since January 2020? Wow. I mean, uh, 2000, since 2000, 24 years. I can't even believe it. Stayed up until about 12.01. I was done with it. All right, guys. Excursion. Whole barrel of it over here. 
I don't know when the next time I'm going to scrapyard is. But it might be after Christmas. Not even sure, guys. It might be after Christmas. One day I got to tear apart my little motor bucket. Some of them is aluminum, so I turn them in as electric motors and still pays 25 a pound, sometimes 35. I got some wire to go through, wire there to go through, some stainless, some shred, a whole pile of trash, just pure trash, except for my saw. All right, guys, that was it. Scrapping with Grandpa, what's next, what's next, what's next? Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas from Scrapping with Grandpa. Till next time, what's next?